Welcome on a big football night here at Goodison Park. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me in the commentary box, providing expert analysis, is Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It's Everton taking on Chelsea. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? And now they get the ball rolling. And here's how Everton line up. Jordan Pickford is the keeper. Abdoulaye Dukure plays alongside Alan in central midfield. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. Decent progress with the ball at his feet. Not to be this time. And a look at the Chelsea starting 11. Edouard Mendy starts in goal. Thiago Silva plays with Aspili Quetta in central defence. N'Golo Conte starts alongside Jorginho in the centre of midfield. And it's two strikers up front who will look to provide the goal scoring threat. Sterling crossing. Taking care of business defensively here. And really pressing their opponents. Ducure, Gordon, Calvert Lewin, he will be, he will be now. Ducure, can they take the lead? And power over subtlety, he's hit the woodwork. Well, he made decent contact with it, but he has to score from that range. Reese James, Jorginho, Aspili Quetta, Mount, Conte has it, Jorginho, still passing it around with authority. But then the one that goes astray. Alan. Calvert Lewin. It's a weighted pass. Well read to ease the pressure. Sterling. In position here to protect the ball. And showing good defensive judgment. Keane. And giving the ball away. Sterling. Another classic example of how to intercept. Well, those stats tell you everything. A tight and cagey game without enough goal mouth action. Both teams need to get more players forward if they're to pose a real threat. Everton moving the ball forwards. What can they do from here? Must score! And a fantastic diving save. Who can they pick out? And it's in! 1-0! They've breached the defence!
Well, here's the replay. It's certainly a well-delivered ball into the area, and it ends up with a fairly simple finish. Certainly not much the goalkeeper can do about that. And away they go again. What effect will that goal have on Chelsea? We're going to find out. Jorginho. Conte. Here's Mount. And Chelsea looking dangerous. But they took care of the situation defensively. And the electronic board showing one additional minute. And there it is, the half-time whistle. So back in business, and Chelsea behind. Let's see if they're able to bounce back in this half. Mount. Sterling has it. Well, they keep working away, looking for passing lanes. Well, couldn't keep it in. Coleman on the ball Coleman it's with Alan Gordon and you've got to keep the ball a bit better than that and Golo Conte now with Jorginho Sterling well not every keeper would have been that brave well he read it brilliantly didn't he top stuff from the keeper N'Golo Conte he's got the right idea with that pass not to be this time. Well, Everton haven't bossed the possession, as you can see, but their counter-attacking has been really good, particularly in the wide areas. It's been an excellent performance from them so far. Well, nicely cut out. Sterling. And Sterling has it. This could be the equaliser. But oh, what an important save. How about that? Well, at least he hit the target, but he should really beat the keeper from there. They should be level now. For Time for a change then. Coming off the pitch, number 17, Alex Iwobi. To be replaced by number 36, Dali Ali. Substitution for Chelsea. Coming off the pitch, number 29, Kai Havertz. Coming onto the pitch. Over it comes. Well, still an issue here. Cuts it back. Werner. Dangerous looking attack. Great reflex action. Well, that should have been a goal. Mind you, it's a brilliant save. Now sending it in. Not the best clearance. Moving forward effectively. 
Cutting the ball back. Oh, surely. Oh, tremendous goal. Technical excellence to finish that one off. Wonderful to have that in your repertoire. Well, here's the replay. He's done really well to get his head up and pick somebody out with that cutback. And what a great finish it is. Struck with power and accuracy. Certainly no stopping that. So back on the way, one goal apiece here. Godfrey. Now with Delhi. And the search goes on for a winner. Time is tight. Chance to cross. Maximum commitment, and he's given away the corner. Who can they pick out? Well, as a defender, that will sit you down to the ground. Well, they've given him too much space. Alan. And the referee has awarded a corner following that touch. Both managers deciding this is the time to change things around. Both teams going to the bench. Damari Gray, substitution for Chelsea. Coming off the pitch, number five, Jorginho, to be replaced by number eight. Trying to pick out a teammate. Well, it has come to nothing. Delhi. Ducure. Coleman. And that was a very fine read. And the referee is going to add on four added minutes. Given away by Chelsea. On the offensive, is there to be late excitement? Delhi. Delhi Ali. Cover Lewis. surely be decisive astonishing drama well here it is again and it's really poor defending they just don't show enough urgency to get tight or make a block which is why the balls ended up in the back of their net So the referee blows for full time and it's an Everton success story whatever way you look at it three points for the Toffees what did you think of their performance well Derek it was a really tight game but they were the better side over the 90 minutes and they fully deserved their victory today well, really no complaints whatsoever about his performance in this game Stuart well he was the best player on the pitch today his movement skill and work